In this illustration, we intend to calculate the natural frequency of transverse vibration in the Abacus software. In this training video, we first calculate the natural frequency of transverse vibration using the analytical solution, and in the next, after that, calculate the natural frequency of transverse vibration using the Abacus software and in a final stage, compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the analytical solution. As you observe in the picture, the model is composed of a cantilever beam and a concentrated mass. The beam is made of steel and the concentrated mass is equal to 20 kilograms. As previously mentioned, our purpose is to calculate the natural frequency of transverse vibration. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D. From here, select deformable, wire, and planar. Enter approximate size equal to 5 and continue. Here, I'll draw vertical line. As you observe in this picture, the length of beam is equal to 1 meter. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material. The beam is made of steel. I will click on general menu, then on density. The density of steel is equal to 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, in the next step, I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus is equal to 200 gigapascal, and I will enter that equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. OK. I will click on Create section, I will select beam, and after that beam again, continue. Click on create beam profile, select rectangular, continue. The cross section of the beam is a square with a side of equal to 0 0.04 meters. Okay. I will click on Assign Section, select the beam, Done, and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Assign Beam Orientation, select the beam, Done, press on Enter button. And OK. Now you can observe the beam in a three-dimensional dim form. As you observe in this picture, a concentrated mass has been connected to the top of the beam that is equal to 20 kilograms. In order to create concentrated mass, I'll click on Special menu, then on Inertia and Create. I will select Point Mass Inertia and Continue. I will select this point, Done. As told, the concentrated mass is equal to 20 kilograms. OK. Actually, our model includes two parts. One, beam. Two, concentrated mass. And the concentrated mass is equal to 20 kilograms. In the next step, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance. OK. In the next step, I'll enter step module. Click on create step. Here, select linear perturbation, then select frequency and continue. 
here a number of agent values requested section i will tick on value option uh, enter the number of natural frequency modes equal to six and okay in this manner the first six natural frequencies of the model will be displayed in the next step i'll enter load module click on create boundary condition here select displacement rotation and continue i will select the bottom of the model then done as it can be observed in the picture the bottom of the beam is absolutely fixed so i will close all boundary conditions of displacement okay in the next step i will enter mesh module click on seed part enter approximate global size equal to 0.01 meters and okay then i will click on mesh part and yes i will enter job module save the model The analysis was done successfully, so I will click on result. Here you can observe the six natural frequencies of the model. In fact, here the natural frequencies along with the respective mode shapes will be displayed to us as the results having been made. As you observe, the first natural frequency is the same natural frequency of transverse vibration. If you look carefully at the figure, you will notice that the mode shape is also in the form of transverse vibrations. Which is actually according to this image, which shows that the mode shape is the transverse vibrations. The natural frequency of transverse vibration is equal to 11.877 Hz. Actually, the natural frequency having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 11.877 Hz. Here you can observe the natural frequency of transverse vibration that is equal to 11. 877 Hz. Now we intend to calculate the natural frequency of transverse vibration using the analytical solution and then compare the results obtained from the analytical solution with those gained from the Abacus software. We can use this formula in order to obtain the natural frequency. F 
is the natural frequency. K is stiffness and MEQ is equivalent mass. To calculate the natural frequency, first we should obtain the quantities of K and MEQ. First, we calculate the quantity of MEQ. We can use this formula in order to obtain the equivalent mass. This formula has been inferred from the Mechanical Vibrations book by Rao. And you can observe here the book Mechanical Vibrations written by Rao. Here we can calculate the equivalent mass for a cantilever beam with concentrated mass and the formula of which is written here. And we, we use just the same formula. First, we should calculate the mass of beam. The beam mass is equal to density multiplied by volume. And here, the density is equal to 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. And the volume of beam is equal to 0 0.0016. The beam mass is resulted as 12.48 kilograms. And eventually, the equivalent mass will be equal to 22.941 kilograms. In the next step, we should obtain the quantity of K, and we can use this formula in order to obtain the quantity of K. Here, X is the transverse displacement, or the same beam deflection, F stands for the force. L is the length of beam, E is a young modulus, and I stands for the second moment of area. We can obtain the quantity of K using the relation of F is equal to Kx. And the quantity of K is observed here. Also, you can use the book Mechanical Vibrations in order to obtain the quantity of K. Here, we can observe the K having been calculated for a cantilever beam. And here, the formula of K is written and we can use that in order to calculate the quantity of K or the same stiffness. Having calculated M, E, Q and K, we can use the formula mentioned at first for calculating the natural frequency of the model. Note that the natural frequency obtained here is the natural frequency of transverse vibration. The amount of the natural frequency of transverse vibration obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 11.887 Hz. Here, we want to compare the results obtained from the analytical solution with those gained from the Abacus software. The natural frequency having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 11.877 Hz. And the natural frequency having been, having been obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 11.887 Hz. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software is quite in conformity with the analytical solution and indicates that the problem has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software. As you observe, 
The Abacus software has been able to calculate the natural frequencies of model with excellent care, and the results obtained from the Abacus software is quite in conformity with the analytical solution.